Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. This is Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth, the Assembly of Brethren, a.k.a. Graceland, USA. I came to bless somebody this morning, and I want you to hear me, child of God. Uh, whatever it is, God is still in charge. Amen and amen. Hear me, child of God. The Holy Ghost came and spoke to me through the night. Say, Kenneth, there shall be provocation in the land. He says, speak to the people that they had in not their hearts. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 8, Psalm 95 verse 8. As in the days of provocation, saith the Lord, harden not your heart. Provocation in your job places. Provocation in the government. Provocation at schools. Provocation in relationships, in marriages. Uh, provocation at uh, every ramification of life. There is going to be provocation in 2022. God says, harden not your heart as in the days of provocation. And when you meet with men and women whose heart are hardened towards God, whose heart are hardened towards the church, whose heart are hardened towards the word of God, bury your head in prayer, child of God. You know, it is easier for a man to confess his fault one to another than to harden his heart towards God and harden his heart towards the word of God. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me in 2012. Everything I was told, I am seeing it going on now. People are going to be tired of the manipulations that they bring by themselves to the house of the Lord. God loved to allow people the freedom to do what they do, but then also allows them to go in the spirit of frustration. Frustration will come to certain people in the land. And if only their attitude can change, if only they can be humble in the sight of the Lord and confess their fault one to another, God say he will heal the land until man turns from his evil ways. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. O child of God, this provocation in the land, it will bring forth a new chapter, a new channel, a new frequency in the land. Prophetic frequencies will be changed. God wants to change your life, but stop going to the places that you went and they turned you against the church and against God's people. May God touch your heart to see that you have gone too far astray and come back to your maker he is a merciful God. He is slow to anger. He told you, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, say, ye, I will hear from heaven, saith the Lord, and I will heal their land. God bless you, child of God. May the Holy Ghost touch your mind. May your hearts not be hardened against the word of God in this generation. And as you go into 2022, I pray that what held you back in 2021 will not hold you back in 2022. And I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. And every man or woman who stays in the dark, monitoring your life with an intention to destroy it, they shall all be disgraced, saith the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, church. Amen.